my crafty friends how's everyone doing today welcome to my channel this is Sherry I'm here for hashtag junk no more and that is an open collab hosted by Maria of Maria's miscellany and myself we do this on the 14th of each month and everyone's it's open collab everyone's uh, welcome to join in you can do it any day of the month and just use that hashtag hashtag junk no more and thank you to those who, who have been participating we appreciate it so <clears throat> this month's prompt is we have had a prompt every month and that is in the my description box and maria's i'll have maria's channel link below and be sure to check her out because she always does something very uh interesting she's very creative if you don't know maria and so you will be um pleasantly um informed about a very unique and different way of using whatever the prompt is and that is fun so this month the prompt is dryer sheets <laughs> so uh dryer sheets to me uh kind of remind me of cheesecloth so here is a coffee dyed dryer sheet i have a couple of them here Here's another one. They take the coffee really good, as you can see. Here's one that hasn't been coffee dyed. If you if you don't have any dryer sheets and you don't remember what they look like, <laughs> these particular ones. I think most of them are white, like this. Here's another one. I have a couple here. I don't have a whole lot saved, or I would have uh, too many. Um, I know I just found three or four. My husband, I don't really use them. My husband uses them, and my son uses them. So if I want one, I have to go through his dryer when he does his clothes. He washes and dries his own clothes. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so anyway, I have a couple coffee dyed ones here I want to use today. I want to do a couple of things. So first of all, I wanted to see um, if I could use and make, use them for making a journal topper. So I just have this book here for size reference. Like so I can make sure I make something, I want to make a journal topper, you know, and I want to make something that would fit on here. Yeah, so I don't want it to be too big is what I'm saying, and I don't want it to be too small. So I have a piece of file folder here too that I'll use for underneath. So I thought, um, say if I were going to use this as a cover, I kind of like the top part here actually. I like this whole top part on this one. So uh, what would I do? I would probably want to uh, make it so that it would fit down here, but I think that's a little bit too small. I think I'm going to go for like for it to fit right here because, like I said, it's not for this particular book. I just happen to have this one out here, and so I'm using this as a reference. So I'm going to cut this down, this little piece of paper here, to fit about right here. And I have a couple pieces here I'm going to work with today. So um, I want to start off with this. But I also have, and cut it down to size so you can see, like you could use this. If I don't end up using this, uh, it's okay. But anyway, you could use just a piece of file folder for your backing if you've never made a journal topper. So it could fit something like right there or up a little bit more like that. I have a strip here I can save for something. Put that to the side and I want to grab also another base that I think that would be good too and I have these right here uh, these are from Tim Holtz and they're double sided and I just wanted to grab these because actually these are his Halloween papers and but I left them out because they look very generic to me so I wanted to find one and that would go with and the second piece I have for my journal topper is going to be something like this mushrooms so and i also have well let me show you what else i have here i have a little stove here <laughs> this i cut out from a book from an old book fussy cut it okay so <clears throat> something that these look good on so let me see if i can find maybe we'll find the same thing we'll look good on both of these uh, not, I'm kind of leaning toward the mushroom first. See, now the mushroom will look good on here. 
I would want the words to be going in the right direction. So the mushrooms would look good on there. Let's see how the, uh, you know that I don't really like the stove on there though. If I wanted to use that on the front of a journal. Let's see, this is cool looking paper here. Oh, the mushrooms would look great on here because it's the same color. Let me see how the oven looks. I know the oven's not gonna look good on here, but what about this other side? You know what, I think it would really look good on the other side, possibly. Okay, so I'm going to say this we're going to use for the mushrooms. And then, I like the colors in this, but it's not vintage enough looking for this stove. And I might not find anything for this stove. I just found it in my mushroom stash, that's why. Oh, here we go. These are advertisements, let's see. A lot of this is Halloween. That's why I am uh, hesitating at all. I'm trying to see what, like here's a scare, scarecrow kind of thing up here. Pumpkin. If I cut it over in this corner though, I could cut right there and it's not too Halloween-y. So that is a possibility. Let's see what this is. This is like a giant library card. <laughs> this is, a, I like the ads better though. Let's see, let's see. this is going to be too dark. It's not going to stand out. Let's just look at a couple more. I don't want to end up looking through this whole thing. Oh, this is interesting. This could be good. Cemetery deed. <laughs> but I wouldn't use the whole thing so you wouldn't know what it was, what it is. It would be, I would just use, use this bottom part. This actually looks good. I like this too. So let me see if I, which one I like better. Hmm. See the color in here is kind of like more towards the color of these white whitish parts so okay let's let's do these yeah i've had these for a while and i don't think i've used any of them if i use any of them i use one maybe and there's a bunch here let's see i'm just kind of flipping through to make sure yeah, let me look at this there's something like a invoice here let me just look at this real quick this is fine, but I just want to look at this real quick, too. Oh, I think I like this better. Casket company. <laughs> if I cut that off, though, you won't know it's from a casket company. <laughs> and I would use the rest for Halloween, right? Okay, I think I'm going to go with this. I like this receipt kind of invoice-looking background better. A little better. All right. So I'm going to go with that and this for the mushrooms so I want to make um, I don't know if we'll have time to make two journal toppers but this is the idea and then use the uh, use this as a backing in between the paper and the focus point the focal point okay so that's that's one idea. So let's cut this down. Let's use this one first. And then I want to make some clusters too. Let's see. I don't want this too wide. I want some of the book. I'm going to want some of the book to show. So let's. And plus, I don't want to use. I don't want to end up wasting any of this paper by having to cut it, cut it down because this side is too cool not to also use because so I'll be able to use the other side somewhere else and use this side we're using for the mushrooms today so that's cool all right so that's so I get to use this later on which is awesome okay so let's see next I'm going to want to cut this uh, and you can let's see this one is a little darker than the other one or this side let me see if you can see through this one more. I think you can see through this one a little more. It's a little less dark than the other one. It's a little lighter. Okay, so what I want, what I was thinking was cut this down with my painting shears. I have not tried to cut this yet, so we're going to see how it cuts. But I want a lot of this background showing too. So if you've ever used cheesecloth, it's pretty cool what you can do with it as um, a layering material. So I'm hoping this is this is similar. I haven't tried it yet. This is a, this is me trying it right now. <laughs> so 
Okay, so now I'm going to cut, let's see, cut about right here. Um, I noticed with like cheesecloth, and maybe the same will be for this, for dryer sheets, you don't have to be particularly perfect perfectionistic you can kind of just cut it and if it's not even it doesn't matter in fact it kind of almost looks better if it's not even because it's kind of a just a layering piece that's meant to be kind of <clears throat> there like wonky-ish not really straight or perfect or anything okay now I want to get this edge pinked all right see how we do here all right so a lot of our background will be showing and if you want it more neutral just use you know if you're going for a really grungy neutral journal you could use this you could use coffee dye file folder and then put this over it for a layering piece but anyway let's let's see how this is going to look sort of so that is pretty you see how it looks Okay, let's glue this down with some, I don't want to get glue on this book, so we're going to put this to the side. And we're, going to get, we're going to add other things to this, but first of all, I want to get this glued down. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because it is fabric. Close to fabric as you can get when you're talking about dryer sheets, right? <laughs> all right, oh, is this brand new? I thought I already opened this. Oh, the phone. I didn't even take off the seal yet. Wow. I thought I already used this one. Because my uh, previous one is almost empty. But I thought I already opened this one. But apparently I did not. I get to experience a fresh new bottle of Fabri-Tac today. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to glue this down. And if I think of anything that I need, I will go get it. So we're not lacking in any of our... So I'm not putting glue right out to the edge. I want to see it. I'm glad I didn't do that because I want to see how this goes down. Because it's neat on cheesecloth to kind of let the edges do what they want. Kind of if they, move, you know, roll up or, you know, kind of squish together. It looks good, if you know what I mean. So I centered that. All right, just one second. Okay, so I left the room for a second. When I came back, I realized it's really blending in, so I wanted to hold it up for you so you can see the, the uh, dryer sheet on there. Okay, so now I'm going to put the mushroom on. Let's see. Now, I just picked this out. Like, the first mushroom I grabbed out of here. Here's my little mushroom storage in here. <laughs> There's some tags in here <clears throat> and different little fussy cut mushrooms. Is that the same as that one? Yeah. That must be my favorite one. <laughs> There's some other mushrooms in here. Here's another one. I need a nice big one though on on uh, for a journal topper. Let's see anything else in here as far as yeah the rest of them are smaller. So I think I am gonna go with this one and I'm gonna kind of overlap it over uh, partly mostly on the the dryer sheet and then a little bit on the paper. So. Since it's adhering to fabric, aka the dryer sheet, I'm going to use this fabric tack on here too. Make sure everything sticks down nicely, and I'm going to get this right to the edge because I want all the edges to be really down. Although I don't want my glue to show, so we'll see how that goes. All right, I want a little bit of the paper to show on the bottom, so I'm not putting it right to the bottom. Okay, oh, I think that's where I want it. Now, I think I want to round the corners. Let's see how that looks. Wait, can you see how pretty that is on there? It's, it's kind of subtle, but it's I think it's a nice layering piece and a nice alternative to cheesecloth. I mean, why not use it 
why not use your dryer sheets instead of I mean these have been used these have gone through the dryer and now I'm using them in my craft room I think that's <laughs> a good way of salvaging some of these from the trash okay so I'm gonna want something up in here let me see now what I have out here if there's anything in here I can use or do I need to go to a different ephemera pack I can picture a butterfly up there let's see what is this is a bunnies in here okay I can't picture a bunny up there I can picture a bird uh, do we need any more like we could put no that one doesn't look good no, no. I think that mushroom is going to be the star of this show uh, because these are just going to be competing. Oh, here's a little squirrel. That would be cute, but it's too big. <laughs> these are fussy cut images. Okay, so, and then here's my other mushroom. Now I do have this little piece here. Nope, that doesn't look good on there. And I know this is not going to look good on there. I have a green piece here, but I know that's not going to look good. Okay, so I need some kind of butterfly. So I'm going to, or a bird. See, I do have some birds here. Let me see if any of these birds might look good. Let's see where this opens. If there was one flying over top, it might look good, but these are kind of sitting. So I'd have to have an awfully pretty small one to sit on top of the mushrooms here and look good <laughs> so it's funny that all these birds are probably sitting and probably none of them are flying but that was these are from a ephemera book that I had to you know you buy an ephemera book of certain things like this was birds and they were they're all sitting None of them are flying. So, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to pause and look for something. Just one second. Okay, guys, I'm going to go in somewhat of a different direction. I got kind of off grid. Well, <laughs> off, the, off my track while I was looking around for a butterfly. And I decided, like, I want to make a cluster anyway. I said that, right? And so I thought, well, why don't I go ahead and make a cluster, and maybe it will go up here instead of a butterfly, right? I'm kind of, I guess the butterfly is maybe getting me off track. So, um, so I have a piece of, this is just kind of like muslin fabric, and then I have the uh, little strip or a little piece of the dryer sheet here. And I'm going to cut another piece to go with this. And go over this as a layering piece again so like that and then I have some tickets and these are vintage tickets orangish or orange like kind of like orange um, light orange color so that's another layer and then I have I had already pulled out some buttons so I thought let's look for a button that might go on here I have two containers here of vintage buttons let's just Pull one off the a couple off the top. Let's see what let's give ourselves a couple of options here. Uh, so I thought that was more gold than but that's kind of cute. And here's a what is this brown? Oh, I like that better. It stands out more, and this is kind of almost like even though this is probably old and vintage, it's kind of just too probably too sparkly. If it was gold, I think it would. Be better but I really like this little brown one here uh, let's see let's just don't just just make sure real quick is there anything else there's a lot oh here's a what is this black one here it's kind of different looking one oh, there's a green one right here too I might try to grab that if I can reach it oh that has a loop on the other or that has what is that oh that has a loop on it so I don't want to deal with that right now let me look at this green one. This looks kind of interesting. Is that green? Oh, that's black. Nope, but it wasn't. I guess the light just shining on this jar through this jar is making the black ones look green. Okay, no, there's no green ones. It's another black one, but a little bigger, bigger one. So, and this is smaller. This is brown. 
I kind of like the bigger one now. I don't know, but the brown one can go off to the side. So let's keep that one. Here's some bigger ones from my other jar. From my other, well, I have a few big ones in here, and I have a lot of big ones in this glass here. Let's see. So that I'm, I'm sure this is like way too big. But interesting. Here is a. Well, that's greenish. No, uh, no. I mean, it's okay, but not great. Okay, here's that little brown one, and let's just see. See, it covers up too much. Here's one that blends in more. That's okay. I mean, you could get away with any of these, right? But, oh, what is this one? Wait a There's a little orangey one in here, I think. I think it's orange. So let's, let me see if I can dig down here and get it. <laughs> Orangey, brownie, whatever color this is. Rust. Oh, I like that. Because it's darker than the ticket. And it's the same kind of orangey tones that are in here. I kind of really like that. So I use a, a layer of the dryer sheet in there too. I don't know. I really kind of like that. It's different, you know, but you're typical. Okay, so I did have this here too in case I needed it. Because if I didn't do a cluster there, I was going to do something maybe like put a little line of fabric over here, which would also be cool. And then you could put like a layer of butterfly up in here. So that's just an option if you're making a a journal topper and I also have a label here if I wanted to put just put a label here um, I'm not going to put a label here I want to put that cluster here but say this was a tag and it was smaller maybe a little smaller and you want to put a label that would look cute I'm not going to put it down there I'm just showing you if you can see around my hand and my arm here what that would look like that would look good too I'm going to put that back on here though I'm not going to use it right now because <laughs> I want to use that cluster I think that looks really cute so let's glue that down. Let's do it. Let's see if we decide to glue it down in the same way. So I've got my Fabri-Tac here. So anyway, that's an example of a journal card and a cluster all in one here. I didn't realize I would be putting the cluster on here, but when I went to get the butter butterfly, I was like, why don't I just put a cluster right here? A, a journal topper is a perfect place to use a chunky cluster like this too because you know, this button makes things kind of thick by the time I get that on there. Now I could, so this is a flat piece of, I wonder if I could use a little bunched up piece. Let's just uh, experiment a little bit with that real quick and just put a, add a little bit more bulk here to our, to our uh, cluster. I just want to see something, see if we can make it a little more prevalent as far as maybe a little kind of almost like a ruffle here. Let me get my stapler. I think I might need a staple for this. But I think this would be cute. So I've got three, I made three like pleats or you know like a little ruffle. Let's staple that together. Okay, and I'm going to cut that off. All right, and so we're making it a little bit more fluffy and prevalent as far as that goes. Not a lot, because it's going to be covered up with a ticket. And let me see if I want to put the ticket here. And then this, and then this. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's what we're doing because it makes the cheesecloth, coffee dyed cheesecloth stand out a little bit more. And you can see the color underneath. Another option would be put to put tickets down the side. That could be cute. Okay, so we're gonna put this so like this. Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this next. So isn't this fun? So next month's prompt is Toilet paper rolls. <laughs> That's going to be a challenge for me because I've never used toilet paper rolls before. Of course, I've never used dryer sheets before either. So <laughs> let's see. I want to put this in a way that kind of everything shows a little bit. So 
So I'll put it like that. You can see the ticket. You can see the the muslin piece, and now the button, which is the orange one here. So this is quite a cluster. We've got four layers on our cluster, but like I said, it's a journal. It's intended to be a journal topper. So if it's a little chunky, it doesn't matter. You just want to make sure it's all there, and that is cute. So. I could come in and put also, I want to see if I could include somewhere on here a little paper clip, one of these little paper, mini paper clips. <laughs> I'm kind of like trying to use these right now because I haven't, I've had them for a while and I haven't used them. So can I just randomly put this somewhere and it'll look cute or do I need to put something underneath it like, like over here or I was thinking of including it on here but I don't know. I don't think I really can in a good way so can I just okay when I used this before I don't know if you saw that video but I actually had to kind of bend this out oh just one second I gotta close my door okay I had to close my door somebody was coming but um, while I did that I went ahead and okay so that's the wrong side I see I need to put this side on here. Okay, so I need to bend this side out. Yeah, I was trying to bend this out, but I did the wrong. I, I, it looks like there was a loop on that other side, but I guess the loop is here. So this is what I did before. I just bent this little part out a little bit because these are so hard to get on to something. So I just tried to bend it out a little bit. If that makes sense, you see what I'm doing with my scissors here. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little, there's a little space there now where if you've never used these, it's, they're very hard to get on and on something. I mean, you can get it off, but it's hard to get on. So I'm going to put it here. There, see, a little paper clip right there, a little piece of metal. That's actually really cute, don't you think? I think it's cute. <laughs> it's random, but cute. Okay, so, um... I don't know if I'll put anything else. I don't want it to be too busy. Uh, I can see a word on here though. Um, <clears throat> so maybe the word, do we want the word journal on here? Well, it depends on what I put on because there might be words on the book. Like say I put on this book that we were uh, looking at. Here's what it looks like. See, it looks cute even on this book, but not exactly because the color of the book is not right. But See the words up here, so you want to be careful about putting words down here. A number would look good, a little number stamp. Uh, I think you could, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think I would put a butterfly on there because, I don't know. It just seems like it would be overkill, to me anyway. Uh, but a word or a number down here. Let me see, I have some numbers. Hold on. Grab my numbers. They're right behind me. Numbers. And so, also, you could blend it in with the book by say, say this was the book, and you wanted to, you're adding this to your cover. You could take something like. Here's a coffee dyed piece of lace, like wedding lace. I have a bunch of it here. I'll show you. See, this is a piece from here. So um, you could take something like this and kind of blend it in. See how that looks nice? That would connect this to your book. That looks nice. I would do that. and But not until I'm ready to put it down on a book. And then my numbers... Let's see, that's a letter, uh, oh, here's another, here's some, here's some, there's some, these are fabric numbers in here, the stamped fabric, but these are paper here, so just say, I could get my stamps out too and do a, my number stamps and put a number, but these are, these are little paper numbers, there's a bigger one. So that could be cute. It could even go another connector. 
use it as a connector between the book and the piece that you're putting on. See, I'm overlapping it onto the book. So that could, that looks, that actually looks good. So you'd be connecting it to the book here, connecting it to the book there, but that's not something I can put on right now. Here's a green one, depending on the color of the book. Like if it was this book, that would look good, that green number right there. So anyway, I don't think I'm gonna put anything else on it right now. And we made a cluster and a combined cluster <laughs> and journal cover. Uh, with the cheesecloth so those and I'm sure you can think of more ways to use cheesecloth and watch Marie I can't wait to see what she does her channel will be linked below and I think that's going to be it for this video I'll do another video where I work on this oven <laughs> this old-fashioned oven and make that into uh, some type of we have that paper and this paper here for this one I think make that into a journal topper because I have those books that I'm working on using up in my in my closet and that could be really cute on one of them and then that could be like a cookbook recipe type of theme and this could be a nature theme for this journal so thank you for watching today I hope you enjoyed hashtag junk no more and uh, don't forget to pop over to Maria and see what she's doing and I'll see you in my next video and please make sure you feel free to join in anytime this month or next month or whenever. Use the hashtag and join in our collab. We'd love to see what you're doing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.